Doc. What do you do best? What's that? Hunt. If you could have anything in the whole world, what would it be? A room full of video games. Stick around. Hey, what is up guys? Sam here, Contagious Collection, back with another video. Welcome to my channel, welcome to the game room, back with another one. And this is going to be the grand finale, last video of the year, I can't believe this year is almost over. want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Hope you guys are doing good, stay up, stay safe. Uh, I am super stoked and very excited for this video guys, like, I don't know if it's going to show on the video, but I am really excited. Got a lot of great things, fantastic deals, uh, steals of deals as I like to call them. But um, overall, just really happy with what I got throughout the whole year. I mean, again, like this year passed by so quick, has its ups and downs. You know, it's like kind of like saying you can't appreciate sunny days if it wasn't for rainy days. So you have to have the good with the bad and the bad with the good. That just normal that's just the way it is where you balance out stuff and that that's that's a part of life so um uh before i get started i just want to say that uh thank you to each and every single one of you that take time and watch my videos comment on my videos and tell me your thoughts of what i get and all of that good stuff and i was really uh happy about the reaction that i got from my last video about my top 10 uh, favorite games that was passed on as a as a you know kind of like a tag thing where you know uh, one youtuber passes on to the other one i had a really fun time making that video but uh anyway without with that being aside i'm gonna get right right into it there's a lot of stuff that i'm going to show sit back relax grab your favorite drink and snacks and here we go guys hope you guys enjoyed the video um I'm not going to be doing anything in no particular order. I think I'm first going to start off with the eBay pickups. I got amazing deals on the eBay uh, packages as well. Um, some games, and I believe I got a... Uh, I, yeah, and I got a few movies as well um, from eBay that I was actually... I'm going to start off with that, actually. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. I'll fix that camera really quick. All right, I think that's better. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to start off with the movies. Captain Ron, amazing movie, super funny. I actually had this in my movie collection, but for whatever odd reason, I could not find it. I don't know where it is. Um, usually, I have my go-to videos, uh, DVDs and Blu-rays that I watch, especially like the 80s and 90s stuff. Um, this is a super hilarious movie. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out with uh, Kurt Russell and Martin Short. Uh, another one that I had on my list, I had seen this movie a long time ago. I didn't have it, and I wanted to own it in my movie collection. And that is White Men Can't Jump with uh, Wesley Snipes and um, I believe his last name, Woody Harrelson. I believe that's his last name. Um, a super funny movie. It has its seriousness as well, but uh, it's basically about like basketball and stuff like that. They're kind of like... Um, two street hustlers where they hustle other people as far as like playing basketball games and stuff like that. Um, I think Rosie Perez is in it as well. And um, I don't remember off the top of my head as far as like for the other actors. But uh, if you guys are into uh, like sports movies and you like basketball and comedy and a little, there's some drama, whatnot, but uh, it's a, it's a great movie. Definitely a classic, uh, great film. So if you guys haven't seen this, definitely check that out. Let's put that aside over there. Um, Alright, next we're going to go with the games that I picked up. Uh, this was on my list for a very long time, guys. I finally pulled the trigger on it. I think I got the, a really good deal on it as far as like I don't want to break the bank buying these certain games. Um, It's not like super, super expensive, but... Again, what I do is I message the sellers, you know, uh, measure 10 times and cut once instead of vice versa. So I, I messaged a few uh, sellers and seeing whatever they have like on 
best offer. And of course, if they'll accept that. So the guy uh, took my offer and I finally got this in my collection. It is a super awesome game. Definitely a genre that is my cup of tea and that is action platformer. Um, and that is, uh, it is a Konami title. Monster in my pocket for the NES. Finally got this game. I was trying to find it like out in the wild, maybe if I could have got it on a better price. But at the end of the day, I still get a really good deal. And uh, I am going to enjoy playing this game. It's going to be in my collection. And it is absolutely an amazing title. Uh, if you guys haven't played this and you're into action platformers, definitely pick it up if you can. You know, if you get like a good deal on it, definitely grab that. Really good game. Monster in my pocket. Um, Next... Uh, I actually added uh, seven PC Engine games to my PC Engine collection, and I think um, over 20 games now. Happily, I could say that. Very proud to say that, that I'm over 20 games in my PC Engine collection, and it is one of my favorite consoles to collect for. Hands down, an amazing console. Uh, I really love that console. It's basically like an 8-bit console which pushes 16-bit graphics and it's really impressive like as as far as like certain games go and this one was actually an arcade port from what i did a little bit of research and found out about it and uh it was an arcade game it got ported over to the pc engine and that is as far as i remember the american name is bonds uh adventure uh the japanese name of the game i remember it's called jigoku meguri so there that is. I really like that cover art as well. Super fun action platformer game. Again, got a great deal on this. Uh, bundled up these two games, which I'm going to show that next game right now too. Uh, you basically play as this character. He's kind of like a, a kung fu -ish or like a monk looking uh, character, I would say. More monk-like. But uh, it's, it's such a fun game. Beautifully polished. Uh, beautiful graphics the gameplay is super fun as well so you get these like uh different color like um uh, bubble type things where you like toss out and shoot as your weapon and the great thing about the pc engine is that you have the turbo switches where you could go whether you want to pound on the button with your thumb or uh you could just press on it and then put it on like automatic and it's like a turbo thing so it like automatically shoots which also works great on uh, shmups or shooter games, things like that. Uh, yeah, Jigoku Meguri. Uh, I believe, again, it, this uh, the English, um, it's called Bonds Adventure. I could be wrong, but uh, as far as I remember, that's what it's called. So yeah, really, really happy to add this to my collection. And the cool thing is that uh, these two games, they actually came with these plastic uh, protectors, which I didn't even know because whenever uh, I looked at the pictures, on ebay they didn't have these on there so i guess the guy whoever that was selling it included these in there and these are all these are great you know to keep your games in in uh good condition so yeah jigoku meguri and uh the next one that i got with that is uh i believe this is a side scrolling shooter shmup and it's called rabio uh lepis or lepis special uh super fun side-scrolling shooter game i mean no shooter game in my book is bad it's like there's no it, in my opinion there's no such thing as bad pizza bad pizza good pizza it's all good but uh for example i'm bringing that up and this kind of actually reminds me a little bit of like the background uh the visuals it really reminds me of uh art type which uh is is a is a great comparison don't get me wrong that's like one of my favorite uh shooters and uh all-time classic it just you know stretched out across so many different platforms as far as our type goes but a little bit on the graphics side it did remind me of the background of it and uh, it's a it's a really fun game another cool thing about this is uh besides you shooting the enemies that come at you uh there's also a feature where if an enemy comes close to you, uh, you could like punch him, and like it, the 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 character, like this rabbit thing, he uh, punches out like a like a stretching glove or something like that. I don't know if I'm uh, 
explaining that correctly, but uh, a really fun side-scrolling shooter shmup. Really cool game. Uh, next one I got, another one on my list is uh, Jackie Chan's Kung Fu Adventure, I believe it's called. And uh, again, this is not an easy game to find, and it's not uh, on the it's not on the cheap side at all. But I got a heck of a deal, uh, almost half off, or even like less than that. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it because these games nowadays, guys, are getting like insanely expensive. And I really wanted to add this to my collection, so I said, why not? And I got a, a really great deal on it. Um, again, these games I'm holding, I still can't believe it that I actually have these. So very, very excited. Uh, yeah, Jackie Chan's, uh, Kung Fu Adventure. It is complete with the manual. It has the, uh, cue card sleeve dust cover or the protector, whatever that's called. I don't know exactly what that's called. Um, I believe there is a Jackie Chan game on the NES. But in my opinion, and um, a lot of you might agree, I think this is way better than the NES version. Just gameplay and, um, you know, visuals and graphics and everything. Just the colors, everything pops out. Beautiful game. Really fun game, too. Uh, next one I got is CyberCore, a top-down vertical shooter, which I believe this is also on a Turbo Graphics uh, 16, um, as far as I know. But uh, this is a lot cheaper, and since I have the PC Engine, um, even though I, I do have a Turbo Graphics, but the Turbo Graphics 16 games are like stupidly expensive. I'm not finding anything, um, you know, uh, worthy enough to like grab it, you know. And I don't want to spend like a few hundred dollars on a game or whatever. But uh, so, you know, this was like I got this for like 20, 25 bucks or something like that. And that's a heck of a deal. I mean, that's why I love to collect a lot of these uh, Japanese games. Oh, that hinge was broken. I knew that. I gotta swap that out. Uh, that's why I like to uh, get certain games if I could take the Japanese route. Why not? You're gonna pay a lot less instead of, again, breaking the bank. So, another amazing game, top down, super fun. Uh, it does get challenging. The boss battles are really fun too. I love the music on this game as well. Uh, very good music, and uh, as you play certain of these games, I like it when the music is good, and it makes you get into the game even more, which is uh, which is really cool. It keeps you entertained even more, and I like that. Another one, guys, uh, is Legend of Hero Tonma. Again, PC Engine game. Man, this is, again, something that I still can't believe I, I got. Now, what the thing was, the guy that was selling these games, he had it separately listed on eBay. And I messaged him, I'm like, can we do like a bundle deal? Because he asked me, uh, what else games do you uh, want? I was like, if you could give me those three certain games, we messaged back and forth. We worked out a deal. He took the listing off and then bundled it together. And I got a really great deal on it. I'm just going to say that Legend of Hero Tonma. It's a side-scrolling action platformer, which kind of plays like a shooter game because it uh, enemies come at you really fast. It has a little bit of um, the difficulty side of like ghosts and goblins or ghouls and ghosts. But man, what an amazing game, guys. Super uh, fun. Again, beautiful graphics. It just everything about it. It's, it's just awesome. I played a little bit of it just to give... Uh, the game a test and, and see if it works or not and it did of course uh i got up to the first boss and the first boss is like the skeleton guy with a sword and i couldn't beat him yet but i'll figure that out and you know eventually try to beat the game so uh legend of hero tonma for the pc engine okay so i got this one and these three again together as a lot bundle deal 1943 Kai, again, I love the Nintendo. I grew up as a kid on the NES Nintendo. Uh, but this, I believe, is a lot more superior compared to the NES version. Um, this is 1943 Kai, K-A-I, I believe it's spelled. Wow. And the turbo, 
features again with the you know instead of pounding on the button it is so good super fun game and i also got shinobi which um i believe this was also on the arcades it got ported over to the genesis as far as i remember or other consoles um i think it's on the genesis if i'm not mistaken but uh like playing this game guys it really reminded me it's very close spot on to the arcade version if not better i'm just saying that um because that's just the way i felt again i can uh you know that is my opinion that's that's what i felt when i was playing it and uh it's it's a classic game so much fun awesome amazing all that good stuff really cool stuff um so yeah that was that i believe with the uh, PC Engine stuff. This game again, another one. All of these were basically on my list for a long time. And I ended up finally getting this uh, for a really good deal. SD Superior Defender. That's what SD stands for. Gundam Force Showdown uh, for the PS2 Complete. Uh, very cool action-adventure looking game where you play as these Gundam uh, robot mech things. So grab that. All right, I'm gonna speed this up. Uh, also got some Wii games. Plunt, uh, Pirates Plunged R. Uh, how like a, a pirate would say. Uh, it has like three R's at the end, and it's like popped out. But yeah, Pirates Plunged R. Um, a really fun. I believe this is a beat 'em up game. Again, another one that was on my list, and I finally got it, and I'm glad that I did. Uh. Disc is overall not in bad shape. Can't wait to play these games. Pop them in and have some fun with it. Um, next one, again, uh, this is something I had never heard about. I don't see a lot of people talking about it. And I'm always on the lookout for those diamonds in the rough, so to speak. Um, uh, picking up those games that a lot of people don't know about, maybe. Or I had never heard of, of these two games that I'm going to show right now. Oh man, that is uh, Myth Makers, Trixie in Toyland, uh, which is a 3D action platformer game. And I absolutely really cherish stuff like this, where it's like, you know, these consoles have been out and done with making newer games or whatnot. But yet, there are certain games that you'd be like, oh, okay, wow, I didn't know this actually existed. That game was actually out there. And uh, I got it for like really cheap. This was like probably like five or six bucks with uh, free shipping. I mean, come on. Uh, had to get it. I like that cover art as well. The gameplay seemed really fun. That's what grabbed my attention. And I always do my homework and check out the gameplay before I buy a game. So that was that. Uh, the next one is the Core Gang Outvasion from Inner Earth. And uh, this is an Atari title. And... This game, I'm going to compare it to like Steambot Chronicles, if you guys have played it, um, on the PS2. And it kind of looks a little bit similarity to it too, where you're like sitting on this mech and you're like beating up uh, oncoming enemies and stuff. It, uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Tronbon as well on the PS1. I'm not saying they're exactly like that game or this is better, but uh, just to, you know, give it a little comparison and similarity... Uh, it's it's pretty close. It looked really fun. I, I checked out the gameplay footage of it. So yeah, the core gang on the Wii. Got a couple of Wii U games as well. Again, these were uh, uh, things that were on my list that I really wanted to get. And uh, I really love collecting for the Wii U. And uh, I got Snoopy's Grand Adventure, which is a really fun, cool, cute little action platformer game. So yeah. Got that as well. And this, I believe, uh, originally was on the PS2. I do have it on, on the PS2. It's an amazing action-adventure game, kind of like a beat-em-up a little, uh, where it's all based about different animals. And uh, this was the Anniversary Collection, brand new sealed, uh, Legend of K Anniversary. And uh, I don't know if it's because of it being the Anniversary uh, Edition, uh, the case is white, where, of course, you guys know, originally all or certain games are all blue, as far as, like, the Wii uh, cases go. Um, I don't know. 
So this was a, a white case when I first saw it. I was like, why is the case white? Maybe it could be because of that. Not entirely sure, but that's pretty cool to see that. And uh, yeah, another really cool action adventure style game. And it leans more towards on the beat em up side, which is really fun. Uh, next, all right. I decided to get another t shirt. Uh, got a really good deal on it. This being one of my favorite actors, if not the favorite, one of my favorite movies, probably my favorite movie. Uh, got me a cool little Scarface shirt. Where if you guys have seen the, the, the movie, this is the part where uh, Tony Montana is betrayed by his boss, Frank Lopez. And, uh, you know, he's all shot and bloody. He has a cigarette in his mouth. And uh, I don't want to, you know, give too much away of the movie in case if you guys haven't seen it. Um, yeah, that's that part. And that's like one of the... Like... I don't know how to say it, like, the whole movie is amazing, and uh, I, I really love it, and that part is just, like, really, uh, has you at, on the edge of your seat, the acting and everything, and when I saw that shirt, I was like, man, I'm gonna pick that up, so I got a few now, and another one, uh, to the collection, very happy about that as well, um, I believe that was all of the eBay pickups, I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, that was all of the eBay pickups. Um, the rest of, I'm going to go, let's see, the video game stores. I went and got a few stuff from there. I also got a few things from Target. So let's go with the video game stores. Um, I got these two, uh, I believe, like last week or probably like about a few days ago. Um this actually came with a manual, which is really cool. They didn't have this one. Uh, picked up Trog for the NES. I'm not exactly sure what this game is about. Um, I hope it's a fun one, but uh, overall it's in great condition. And it came uh, with the manual, so that's really cool. Very cool, very cool. All right. And this one, again, another game that was on my list for a long time. Uh, another action platformer game. Very fun stuff. Uh, and that is Monster Party. As soon as I saw it, uh, this video game store is like where games are in the, inside the glass shelf. And employees have to come and help you out. And you have to pick out the game. And then they grab the game and take it up front. And that's just the way the process of that store is. So, yeah, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, man, I'm taking that game for sure. Monster Party, uh, another really cool action platformer game. Very fun game. The boss battles and everything is, is really cool, too. Um, and uh, overall, the fun time. So, yeah, really happy about that. Monster Party, got that as well. Um, though, these actually will show afterwards because i got those games today um this was about a week or two ago this is a different uh, video game store um so these bunch of games that i'm showing right now is between two different video game stores um i got a couple of switch games fantastic night dreams a cult hit from japan cotton reboot what a great game super fun uh very colorful and it's an amazing shmup. That's all I can say about that. Really fun. I think I beat it or I got really far on it. Uh, another action platformer. Man, guys, I had heard about this game. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be pronouncing this game correctly. But I think it's called Panzer uh, Paladin or Paladin. I'm not exactly sure how you spell Paladin or Paladin or however it is. But uh, you kind of play like as this mech robot. It has a little bit, I can tell, um, it was influenced a little bit by, like, Master Blaster, where instead of, of your, like, truck or car, whatever it is, you uh, get out and you have to go certain places with uh, that certain character and get to certain areas that that mech robot can't. Um, this is the same deal, and you have, like, this whip action thing going. You could also play like that. And then you could warp from certain areas 
and get like all these really cool different swords. Oh, uh, super fun game. I had an absolute blast playing this and I'm still playing it. Um, Panzer Paladin, Paladin, don't know how you pronounce that again, but uh, yeah, uh, that was that with those. These games actually got today, literally. Um, so with this store, um, there's a thing where they give you like a member card and after getting 10 punches on the 10th punch, you could get a, a free game of up to $50 or $50 credit on whatever you're buying. So I had my last punch and I ended up picking out a couple more games after that. And uh, so I basically saved or got like a game for 50 bucks or 50 bucks was like token off, which was great. And uh, got a new card, so we got to start up that all over again. Uh, picked up the Uncanny X-Men. Not sure about this. Hopefully it's a fun one. Uh, X-Men for the NES. Also got uh, Rocketeer for the NES. Hopefully that's a fun one too. Uh, got PSP. PSP game. Very fun. Really excited to always get PSP games. Uh, the collection is on the PSP side is, is growing really well with quality stuff and uh picked up bounty hounds i had heard about this one oh uh, it looks like a really fun and interesting game and so as soon as my eye caught this one again this is another one that i had no idea about that was actually on the wii i'm not entirely sure if it's an exclusive to the wii uh, the original wii but uh shonen jump one piece unlimited adventure and uh Man, this, this looks like a really cool, very fun game. Uh, yeah, so it's a One Piece Unlimited Adventure. I like that cover art as well. Very cool. And I also picked up Ghostbusters, the video game. That's a really good one as well. And Tenchu Shadow Assassins. Another Wii title. Now, the Wii collection is growing uh, pretty big too. So, very excited about that. Uh, next, I'm going to go with the uh, Target pickups. This was, again, about like a week or two ago. Got some uh, pop figures, which is really cool. One of my favorite movies. One of my favorite uh, actors plays in it. Uh, and that is uh, John Candy. And uh, this is from the movie uh, Cool Runnings. Got the Irving Irv Blitzer. Pop figure from Cool Runnings. And I also got Senka. And there's a, there's a part in the movie uh, where they're bobsledding. Basically, it's a Jamaican bobsledding team. And uh, one team member tells that the other one, because they're bobsled, kind of like tilts over. And they have like a saying, like uh, the team leader says, Hey, Sanka, you dead man? And then he goes, this guy, this character goes, yeah, man. <laughs> so, oh, man. Uh, I remember seeing this kid, uh, seeing this movie as a kid and i have it in my dvd collection so watching these certain movies guys is an absolute blast uh it, it just even besides like video games these movies take me back to my my childhood and as i'm speaking about it uh it, it literally i'm getting the goosebumps and uh this is like one of my all-time favorite movies as well cool runnings such a good movie very funny uh very humorous and uh glad i picked these pop figures up so, uh, yeah, really cool pop figures to the collection added. Um, next, I think, yeah, I ended up completing this, basically. It was, uh, I was missing the four. And these are figures from uh, Masters of the Universe, which has, like, this retro thing going, which is really awesome. I love that. And every time I would go, I would always see He-Man or Skeletor. They didn't have um, any of the rest of the figures. So I have it on my wall, you know, displayed very nicely up there. And these are going to go next to them. And I finally found the other four, that w which is basically like a part of the set, seems like. And I think there are other mores. I don't know if this is exactly a part of this, but it is a part of, you know, the Masters of the Universe um, action figures. Even, yeah, it has all six of them. 
but uh, the He-Man and the Skeletor are, it says on the top left corner, those say new for 20. This is new for 22, so I'm assuming 2022. I'm not sure exactly, but it even says it on the back, modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe action figures. So I picked up uh, Buzz Off. So that's really cool. I remember as a kid, uh, either I had it or I had seen it, the original figure of this. I might have had this as a kid because as soon as I saw it, I was like, dude, I think I might have had that as a kid, the original figure from the 80s. Uh, that, that's really cool. So got that. And I also got uh, Stratos or Stratos. I don't know how you exactly pronounce that. But, uh, yeah, really cool. Of course, I'm going to keep these sealed because that's how I collect my action figures. If it's loose, unless, you know, but uh, if it's new, I'm not going to open them. And I also picked up Jitsu. This guy looks cool, too. Has, like, this uh, uh, right-hand golden glove kind of thing or whatever they call that. And he has a really cool uh, ninja type, like a samurai sword or whatever it is. So, yeah, I got that. And I also picked up the uh, Sorceress. Yeah, the Sorceress. So that's really cool. Got those four. Very excited about those as well. And uh, I was uh, walking around and I noticed they had like this uh, shelf type of thing. And there was uh, movies on sale or Whatever it was, it was like five bucks a piece. I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to grab these. Uh, picked up Small Soldiers. I uh, really love this movie. I believe this is uh, came out in late 90s, like 98 or something like that. Uh, really cool uh, movie. If you guys haven't seen that, recommend it. Definitely check that out. Um, and I also picked up, it's a video game related movie, which is really cool. Um, picked up Pixels. Uh, man, the... The animation on this, the visuals, is just breathtaking, mind-blowing. Like, the way they uh, made it, it's basically uh, these video game pixels come through wherever, and they're trying to take over Earth, and it's it's like a video game in real life, and all these pixelated uh, things are going around and destroying the world, and, you know, it's, it's a really fun, uh, really funny, and a really cool movie overall. And the rest of the stuff, guys, again, um, I'm going to try to speed this up, but I like to talk about stuff, whatever I pick up. But uh, here we go. I want to do this as quick as possible. Um, I actually have uh, now the, completed this whole set as well. I got He-Man, Skeletor, and Tila of these uh, Masters of the Universe Hot Wheels. And the guy that was selling, he's like, yeah, man, just take two for five bucks. I'm like, yep, deal. I'm going to grab that. And I told him that I needed these two so I could uh, complete this set. And I got the Beastman Hot Wheels Motu Masters of the Universe. And I also picked up uh, Man at Arms. So as you guys can see on the back over here, hopefully that will pick it up clear. Uh, got the whole set now. And I completed that set. So that's really cool. All right, um, next, I got more Ninja Turtle figures and really cool overall uh, action figures and just really great things. This guy had an idea, you know, I was doing a lot of research ever since I did, like, really get into collecting more stuff that I don't know of or I might have not seen. And I, I didn't think at first it was from the Turtle uh, figures. But then I was like, dude, it says Playmates on the bottom of it. Worst comes to worst, you know, whatever it is. If it's not that, that's fine. I only paid $2 for it. And heck of a deal that was. I believe this character is called uh, the Lionheart or something like that. And uh, it is from 1992, I believe. Yeah, 1992. Now, this is something I did not have as a kid. Or I didn't even knew that 
this figure was even out. Uh, but it's really cool to have it. And uh, another really cool uh, you know, piece that's going to be added to the collection. And uh, again, the, all the rest of this stuff is from the flea market. Two different flea markets that I usually go to. More, again, turtle figures. As I was going, uh, I noticed that they had like a bin full of toys, like four or five different bins. Uh, so I picked these up first, and I paid $25 for everything on this. Uh, I think this is really awesome. I love this thing right here. Uh, it's a Mega Man pin set. Got a set of enamel pins. It says on the bottom, you got a set of enamel pins, and it has all those right there. Very cool. Um, I also picked up Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Complete, very nice condition. And these were like two, three bucks a piece. I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to grab them. And he's like, hey man, if you came earlier, there was a bunch more. Uh, some other guys came and picked them up. I'm like, why the heck would they leave these behind? It's only two or three bucks. Even if I have them, I'm still going to grab them. It could be like... Uh, Getting something with in a better condition than the previous one you have, upgrading and all that. But anyway, uh, I got the, I believe that's Genghis Frog, uh, Ace Duck. This is probably my second or third one. This might be an upgrade. Uh, Baxter Stockman. Uh, this one's going to be a pain to get the accessories for because uh, I think uh, he has like these wings and a fly swatter or something. I'm not sure exactly what else is missing but uh, uh really uh excited and happy to get the actual figure another one that i was uh hoping to find and i did and this one i remember i definitely had this as a kid uh i believe this is uh, uh something bona frog i'm not exactly sure on the name but man look at look at the look on this guy's face the colors that's just amazing like beautiful you know, all that neon, the, the green, and uh, the, just a, the, the, just a, what was I going to say, brain fart. Just the details on it is, is so amazing. Like the back part, how the back like bumps are popped out. And uh, really cool. Uh, this guy has a lot of uh, accessories as well, so I got to look out for those. Uh, next one. This guy is a really cool guy that sells like usually toys and stuff like that. And he was telling me that his wife has a, a, a turtles collection or whatnot going. And he was also telling me that he might be able to get me like a bunch of accessories. He's going to talk to her and maybe bring it to me and sell it. Or uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, that will be really cool if he does that. But uh, I ended up getting these two. Um, I I think this guy is called Tattoo, if I'm not mistaken. Again, another one I did not have as a kid, but I believe this is Tattoo. His name is like a, a sumo wrestler. I think this is from 91. I should see on the bottom of the foot. Yeah, I, yeah, that's from 91. I'm not sure, again, what accessories this guy has or weapons, but uh, this one, one of my favorite figures, hands down. Uh, just something about him. He's missing one of his uh, pads on the on the front hip or wherever that is. I believe this is from 89. Usagi Yojimbo, the uh, samurai or, yeah, I think he's like the samurai rabbit or whatever he is. But just something about this guy. I remember having this as a kid. And he has all these, like, different swords and knives and really cool things. So, yeah, got those two for uh, five a pop. 10 bucks for both, which is really cool, really good. Um, these were in plastic bags, which is cool. It keeps them clean and, you know, they don't get damaged. Especially in the flea market, out in the open air. doesn't get dusty or dirty or anything like that. Um... Again, a couple that uh, were on my list, and they had them individually priced. Uh, picked up Metalhead, another one that I was looking out for. 
to uh, add to the collection. And overall, it's in very nice condition. I believe this one is in 1989. And you can just see like the shine on his uh, turtle armor, the front, and that gold. The way it just like shines and shimmers. Very nice condition. Uh, it was kept really well. A lot of times these things like might be having like, you know, colors or paints chipped off. This, that. And I also picked up a wing nut uh, with that. This is another one that I did not have as a kid, but it's really cool to own them as an adult. And it's, it's really awesome. They're out there, guys. I, I just can't believe it that I'm just recently on a roll and I keep finding more and more of these. But uh, there, it's another mission and another thing, like fun, make fun of it, uh, fun out of it, and have a blast with it to find like the uh, certain accessories and, um, you know, weapons or whatever they're needed to complete them, get them all together uh as i was walking by a different seller like this this thing caught my eye it's this a uh, really cool turtles uh glass kind of like a beer glass but uh very cool i thought this would have been from like the 80s or 90s but on the bottom i looked uh it says 2012 but i think it it, it really looks cool it has that old vintage look to it and the TMNT, and I uh, love that logo. So I got that for a buck. Um, overall, and it's it looks like uh, it's in overall in great condition, actually. Um, I'm going to display that where the turtle figures are. Uh, next, since we're on the turtle thing, let's go with uh, more turtle stuff. Uh, got these pop figures. Got uh, Michelangelo. And I like the ones that says has it with these fonts right here even though it is nickelodeon there are some that, that uh doesn't have the original ninja turtle fonts and these are the ones that i really like to collect because uh that's just what i like and michelangelo right there eating a slice of pepperoni pizza very cool and uh a different seller i noticed that uh he had uh, uh leonardo now all, all i'm missing is donatello Raphael and Casey Jones and I also have uh, the metalhead pop as well so that's pretty cool and uh, yeah got uh, Leonardo very cool uh, let's see what else we got uh, oh another pop figure different seller uh, pick this up Beetlejuice uh, love this movie very entertaining really cool and uh, decided to get that as well. And the pop figure collection is, is growing quite a bit as well. Again, just getting the certain figures uh, that I really want, that uh, I like, whether it's movies or video games or whatever it is. Uh, next seller, I think he was selling these games for three apiece. Uh, ended up getting GeForce for the Wii and M&M's Kart Racing. Which, you know, I don't think you could go bad with any certain themed cartoon or movie or whatever it is. If it's like a kart racer, uh, those are pretty fun. Um, this stack some lady was selling. She had like games spread all across the floor. And uh, she was basically saying five bucks a game. But uh, I think... Oh no, never mind. This this I got from a different seller. Yeah, so these four I got from her. Um and it was five bucks a game, so I paid twenty-five for everything, which is a great deal. Five bucks a game, that's all day. Uh Justice League Heroes for the PS2. Um also picked up Arctic Thunder for the original Xbox. And uh, Midtown Madness 3. Again, this is uh, another original one. Oh, I thought that was the manual, but it's not. It's probably like some kind of an insert. So the manual is missing on this. That's fine. Uh, Min Midtown Madness for uh, Midtown Madness 3 for the original Xbox. And uh, this is actually an exclusive. At least at the time. I don't know if this has been ported to anything else. But 
It is an exclusive to the original Xbox. And I got a couple of NES games. Got Solar Jetman. And uh, something that I'd never heard of or seen before. Radon Bungling. They're Bungling Bay. Whatever. I don't know. I have no idea what that is about. But they are NES games. I was like, I'm going to try it out. Hopefully it's good. Let's see what that's about. Um, this one, different seller. I thought I got that with that bundle, which I didn't. I think I got this for like three or four bucks. Let me check what this one is. Yeah, overall, pretty tic tac. Um, Need for Speed to Run. It's a limited edition game. Uh, yeah, got that for a few bucks. Not bad. Alright, this, again, uh, different seller. Okay, this was a different flea market, so it's mixed up with both of the two. Uh, this seller, I was like holding the games. Before I asked, he had like two crates of games. And majority were like, eh, whatever, so-so games. And the ones that I wanted and needed, that I wanted to add to the collection. Um, I grabbed these. I was like, how much do you want for these games? He said $2 a piece. That's all day again. Uh, got Need for Speed Underground, original Xbox. Need for Speed Underground 2, that's Platinum Hits. Uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. No interest, grabbed it. Most likely I'm going to flip it, get a game that I want. Uh, till this day I haven't seen a Star Wars movie or a Harry Potter movie. It's just not my thing. It never piqued my interest, never grabbed my interest. But uh, yeah, Harry Potter, it will go bye-bye, most likely. Uh, this one I'm going to flip the case out because... I don't know what the heck they did with this, or it's on there somehow. Uh, or, yeah, anyway. Uh, got the uh, Namco Museum. So it's like a bunch of different games on the original Xbox. SpongeBob SquarePants Movie. Uh, SpongeBob games are really fun, really fun to play. And I also picked up Monster Jam. So all that for, I believe it's uh, four, six, eight. 12 bucks for all of that, two bucks a piece. I mean, can't go wrong with that, two bucks a piece. Again, this was a um, different seller. He was saying $3 a piece, had a, a three games, a $3 a piece on uh, each game. I believe it was, yeah, it was going to be 18. He's all like, just give me 15 for everything. I'm like, cool. Uh, got Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. That's obviously a flip. Not into Star Wars. Uh, not my thing again. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll probably flip these two or three of these games as well because uh, I don't know. We'll see. Secret Weapons over Normandy for the PS2. I might. I don't know. We'll see. I'll give that a go. Guitar Hero Two. Never got into Rock Band or Guitar Hero. Uh, Guitar Hero 1, I guess that's the first one. Guitar Hero Encore rocks the 80s. And I also picked up uh, Spider-Man. So that's pretty cool. All that for 15 bucks. Uh, next one, I was walking by and I noticed this caught my eye right away. There was like movies and uh, music CDs. I was like, how much do you guys want for this game? Um... Surprisingly, uh, the seller said, uh, you know, they're all like uh, 20 bucks. I'm like, would you take 15? And uh, they said, yeah, sure. So I picked up um, Paper Mario uh, Color Splash for the Wii U, 15 bucks. And that's definitely a great deal. I mean, it is definitely worth it. It's way more than that. I do have this game in my collection. It could be a disc upgrade or a case upgrade, even a cover art upgrade so i'll have to look more into that and uh yeah we'll see with that uh i picked these up personal trainer walkings two for ten bucks again no interest in them got them to flip it so I'll get something that i want uh this different seller just mixed up with movies just grabbed my eye uh with some young girl young lady selling it 
I was like, how much you ask for it? She's like, a dollar ticket for a flock. I'm like, heck yeah, the manual's missing, but for a dollar, it can't go wrong. Uh, Army Men, Sarge's War on the original Xbox, the OG X. Uh, next one, I'd never heard or uh, seen of this one. The Brave Little Toaster got this for a dollar, a Disney movie. And I uh, love my Disney movies as well. So another one added to the collection. Uh, Kill Zone 2. I think I got this for like three or four bucks. Different seller. These are really cool uh, first person shooters. Uh, this was really neat. Uh, this guy had this like... Uh, he was selling basically more like comic books. And whenever I noticed TMNT, I was like, oh, wow. And he had every uh, aisle, every bracket, kind of, so to speak, um, separated in between, like, if it was TMNT, X-Men, or something else. Uh, it was very organized, which is helpful. You don't have to go through every single one. So I picked out these uh, four, and they were five bucks a piece. And they are Eastman and... Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventures. Uh, just the cover art alone, it, it looked really awesome. And um, it's, uh, let's see. This is number five in the series. So that is very cool. Uh, this one is number seven. This guy, I don't know who that is. That doesn't look like Bebop, but. I don't know who that exactly is, but they look like they're in a wrestling ring or something, and this guy's, like, beating the heck out of the turtles. And this one is uh, Adventure Series number 16. That looks really cool as well. And it looks like Raphael is not wearing his mask for whatever reason, as you can see right there. And this one is... Uh, Number 17, again, Raphael does not have his mask on, which is interesting. But love the cover arts on these and the colors and everything about it. It looks really cool. And then he said uh, he had some garbage pail kids. And uh, I got some on my uh, CRT TV over there. I'm probably going to stick these on there to the side or somewhere. Um, got these for a buck a piece. Then he threw actually this one in for free. It's a sticker, uh, the card uh, wrapper, uh, basically. Wherever you would get, like, these cards, they would be wrapped up in these uh, paper kind of things. So he had this in there. He's like, just take that for free. I was like, all right, cool, thanks. And uh, also got these card stickers. Um, Duncan Pumpkin. These things just look bizarre. They're, like, way out there, man. And uh, hands, hands off. He's just like cutting his hand off. That's crazy. Uh, Clark Shark. And I also picked up Overripe Melanie. Just look at that thing. That's just so out there, isn't it? That's just, just like weird looking and so bizarre. But loved it. I always liked it as a kid. And I remember we would go like run into the ice cream trucks and getting these cards. And good old days, man. But having these, it's just, again, it's just something that takes you back in time, and it's a good feeling. Uh, next, I got these two for $35, which I think is a great deal. At first, I was like, oh, I don't know, should I do it? Because at first, he was asking like 45 to 50 And uh, I was like, I'll think about it. I went and I walked. I was like, you know what, man? I don't have a lot of box stuff as far as like Super Nintendo games or anything in, in, in general. Uh, box Super Nintendo, just a super scope i have that box and uh i also have the cleaning kit in box with donkey kong country and that's the only thing uh, as far as like the boxes go but this is going to be cool I picked up michael jordan chaos in the wind windy city with a cool uh protector uh, cartridge protector plastic i think that's really cool and uh Got this uh, Super Nintendo controller in the uh, original box with Mario and Yoshi on it. And there's even like Donkey Kong on the side and Princess Peach over there. And on the back, you have that. There's 
really nothing else in there. I thought there would have been like manuals or something. But just to have that box, guys, I mean, it's at least in my neck of the woods, it ain't that simple to find like box stuff every day. Like literally it's going to be eight years I've been collecting uh, in March of 2022 it'll be uh, eight years I'm collecting and I only have one Super Nintendo box game like this is gonna be like the third thing the cleaning kit and this and uh, the super scope that's in the box again I'm not complaining it's great but just you know anyway those two got those two for 35 I think that was a great deal um, different seller I think got this for like three or four bucks God of War 3 PS3 uh, another one got this for a couple bucks probably just cuz uh, two for the ps3 the manual is missing but overall not, not in bad shape uh, scooby-doo mystery mayhem a lot of these scooby-doo game guys uh, there's another one or there could be like two or three in total or more I don't know uh, but uh, grab this scooby-doo mystery mayhem I think I got that for like seven to ten bucks, something like that. Might have overpaid, or that that the, that's the price that it goes for. But um, still, oh man, I, I, forgot, I don't want to forget about this stuff here. Bring this in the front. Um, I think I'm gonna sell, save this for last. But uh, yeah. Uh, grab this brand new with the tag of course uh, got this for 20 bucks one of my favorite uh, players in the NBA and that is Dominique Wilkins baby Woo! love it got that uh, summertime I'll be definitely rocking that or when it gets warmer out here recently these past few days we've actually been getting a lot of rain and uh, still gonna keep going but Definitely, when it gets warmer, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear that Dominic Wilkins, and 21, uh, being one of my favorite numbers. Uh, another thing why I like it, and of course, the main reason why I love 21 is because 21st is the the date that I was born. So that's another cool fact. All right. While I'm at it, uh, why not? I'll show these two. Got these two for 15 bucks, guys. This is crazy. A uh, six pair of socks, Ralph Lauren Polo with a red pony. Got that, and a, and a, a nice beanie. Uh, it's black with the blue pony in the front. Got those two for $15. That was a heck of a deal. I mean, those are way more expensive. Uh, that was a pretty good deal. I got this table cover thing. This is like from the 90s. Sorry about that. Um, it says 1990 on it. This thing has not even been used. It's like in amazing condition. Hopefully that will catch on. And all of that. Looks like a kid's table cover or whatever it is. I don't know when I saw it. Got this for a few bucks. And I got this pillow cover as well. Uh, again, Ninja Turtles uh, from the 90s really cool and uh got those together for like a few bucks There's nothing definitely grab that uh something you don't see every day uh got this for i think like 10 or 15 bucks and it's a sega saturn controller oh, sorry about that i'm gonna move this to the side over here and this video is almost uh, going to be an hour long, but that's fine. Got a Sega Saturn controller. I have the Japanese Sega Saturn. I remember my brother got it for me uh, a few years back for my birthday, I believe. Uh, but the hey, sorry about that, guys. Uh, ran out of uh, space. Had to free some space up. I'm gonna make this very quickly. Uh, next bundle deal I got is all this stuff over here. Uh, before I show all that other things, Crash and Burn, 
And Sonic Heroes got those two for eight bucks. Uh, Cabela's Adventure Camp got that for four bucks. Different seller. Another seller got uh, Hitman 1 contracts, Hitman contracts, and Hitman 2 Silent Assassins. Uh, Silent Assassin 2 for eight dollars. Um, I'm really got to rush this up because I'm going to run out of space again. Different seller, five bucks. Family Game Night 1 and 2. It's a value pack. Great condition. Got these two for 10 bucks, five a pop. Different seller, Uncharted 2 and 3. Those could definitely be upgrades. Samurai Jack. This is definitely an upgrade with case, manual, and everything in disc. The guy that was selling it had like a bundle of PS2 stuff. I was like, I'm, I want that game. Would you sell it? He said, yeah. I'm like, how much you want for it? He go, he uh, said 15. He was asking 20 to 25 before. And even that, I think, is a great deal. But I got it for 15 on that. That was a great deal for sure. Got this stack. Five bucks a piece. PS2 memory card game was... Uh, Memory card was thrown in for free. Family Guy for the PS3. Uncharted 2. MX ATV Alive. Split Second. Reflex MX versus ATV. MX versus ATV Supercross. A lot of MX games. And Mafia 2. Can't wait to play that one. I have played it and beat it on 360. But I want to play it on the PS3. See how it is. And Infantrator. I mean, it's the same game, but... Haven't played it in a long time. That'll be fun. Memory card. Got that for free. Uh, different reseller. Sega Saturn controller. Got that for 15 bucks. Not bad at all. Jingle All The Way. Watched that last night. That was really fun. Very cool movie. Uh, Turbo Time. Turbo Man. And I got a original OG Xbox controller. So with the movie, got those two for six bucks. Get these out of the way. I hope I don't run out of time again. Make this really quick. Got this all bundle deal together. Very good deal. Death Junior action figure. Manhunt 2 for the Wii. Got Scarface. The Godfather Black Hand Edition. And the Wii games are like piling up too, which is awesome. The Wii collection is growing. Got Mad World. I didn't have that. Oh. Uh, Def Jam Icon. Got a, found a lot of PS3 games too, man, which I'm really happy about. Oh, yeah, and then there was also Bleach 2, which is a Japanese PS2 game. And I do have a Japanese PlayStation 2, so that's great. That was that. And I ended up, good news, finding some 1980s uh, Thundercat figures. Got Tigra. From 1985, which is awesome. And he has that little thing going there. It might be color faded here and there, but come on, guys. This is the stuff I've been looking for as much as like TMNT 80s and 90, 90s figures. And I believe that is Monkeyan. And he has that uh, option right there with his like hand swinging up. And this is, um, I believe that's this guy's Vulture Man. And these, some of these figures are like. Another one, uh, like really cool, detailed. Again, another Thundercats figure. And there was a, a, a Ace Duck in there with his accessories. Again, the price on the bag is nothing to that. Like Again, I bundled everything up. And he has his wings and his belt uh, with the hat and everything. And that was that, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays again to everybody. Stay up, stay safe. Until next year, guys. Uh, you know, I think I ended the year with a big bang. I was really happy with everything I found. I appreciate it, guys. Again, uh, wishing you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, stay up. This is most likely going to be the last video of the year. Until next year, uh, Sammy will definitely be back. Stay up, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care, guys. I'll be back.